Hi guys, looking to make this uh, toy grade radio control car that I bought at the range. Uh, that's the box. I bought it because I thought it was the radio control version of these cars I bought in Poundland, which are friction powered. But it is slightly different. It's very, very close, but different. Anyway, I then thought, well, we might as well make it hobby grade radio control anyway. Did I say anyway twice then? Probably did. But the pillars don't line up with the pillars in the Poundland one. They're quite a bit out of line. So I've redesigned my floor tray, floor pan, um, whatever, from the Poundland version. Had a problem with my printer. You see there's daylight through there. The nozzle was blocked. But it did mean I was able to check whether I'd got the pillars in the right place. In fact, those ones fell off because it was such a bad print. But that did enable me to work out that I had got it wrong. I'd got them about two millimetres too far back at the front. So I've printed it again with a few minor adjustments. So this is the uh, version 2, I suppose. So that one now lines up nicely. There are a couple of things I don't quite like about this, but it should do for now. I'll put the radio control gear in it and the steering in it. It's all very similar to the Poundland version that I did. Um, that's the cover for the gearbox and motor, but I, that was printed too thin as well with the 40 filament, uh, 40 nozzle. Um, so I need to reprint that as well. But I think we've got enough bits there that we can put it together and see if we can actually get it running. You can probably hear it's raining out there. Um, I won't show you step by step me putting this together because I've done it in several other videos already for the Poundland conversions. But these are my little bits that do the steering. So 9 gram servo links to that arm, that arm pushes that arm and the wheels. Um, I use these nails which happen to be 2 millimeter diameter. They go through the holes in there and the wheel goes on the other end and that head stops it pulling through which is the same as you've got in the actual steering. And I will pull these wheels off here so I can use them because they're nice rubber ones. So if I gently lever that off. So I'll use that wheel. I might even use that instead of cutting up one of my nails. Oh, I just had a thought. I'll just do a separate video. I'll strip this one right down to its parts, do a tear down on it. And then I can nick the bits off it. And then we'll come back and finish this video. That's the steering sorted using the um, original wheels. Uh, 
that bit's got to go over the top. Need to clean that out a bit. fits over there nicely, need a couple of screws to go in there, hold it in place and then we'll have a look at the gearbox at the other end. Well it's still raining well out there, I slowed down a little bit at the moment but everything's in place now so servo for the steering, battery, ESC, hobby grade receiver, that one's a Fly Sky. Uh, three channel. Looks like I've got the motor a little bit loose in there. So I'll adjust that. Other than that, ready to give it a try in the body shell. Right, we put the aerial through the aerial hole. And see how the rest of it lines up. Tuck all the wires out of the way. Steering's in the clear. Wheels look like they're a little bit further back than I really wanted them. About a millimetre too far back, I think. It's not going to affect it running, but it's going to look slightly out of line. And it looks like I could probably shorten those pillars or posts, whichever ones you want to call them because those wheels could go up up a couple of millimetres into the bodywork. I mean, they're all right, but uh, yeah, I'm looking at this. Those wheels look like they're possibly a couple of millimetres, two millimetres, yeah, maybe two millimetres too far forwards. And those look to me like they're one, maybe two millimetres too far back, so we could squeeze it all together a little bit. But I think that'll run as it is. So I'll put some screws in and we'll give it a run.
So even with those rubberized tires, it's still not perfect grip. But that's a little bit more interesting than toy grade. Well, i got to say, I rather like that. That's quite fun. I could tweak that chassis a little bit, just to align those wheels a little bit better than they are. But that's working. So, that'll do for now. One little change that I didn't mention. On the Poundland version, which this is copied off, I've added these two little plastic lugs at the back here so that we can have the on-off switch that's associated with the ESC mounted there because I just had it laying inside before so that's, that's a little improvement that'll do thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.